First up tonight, tragedy in Wallingford as two people have died following a house fire. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Mark Zinni. Police are now calling this big fire suspicious. It broke out at a home on Geneva Avenue in Wallingford. That's where we find Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dylan Fearon. He is live there tonight with the very latest. Dylan. And Aaron, a third person is in critical condition right now, fighting for their life. Their burns were so severe last night, they were flown to a burn center. Now police believe a crime was committed. Crews are towing away this red Cadillac. Police following behind. It appears it's now evidence in a criminal investigation. It holds a lot of memories. Amelia Cherznowski grew up in this house. She heard the horrifying news and rushed over. I'm just so sad, disheartened because of this home has such joy and happiness in it. This concerned community is desperate to know what happened. Police staying tight-lipped, two dead, a third fighting for their life, and five agencies investigating. William Vallow lives across the street. So something like this is always tragic. The fire started on the second floor. We're told it's a three-family house. The Red Cross is helping families on the other floors who were evacuated. But 24 hours later, and there's still plenty of questions. The rental property now boarded up. And nobody's talking or saying a word. That's, which is, you know, I guess they have to do be, be that way. What even would have caused something like this? And Mark, Aaron, police have not released the names of the two victims tonight. We're live in Wallingford. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Dylan, thank